So before this video gets too far ahead, I just want to let you guys know I do have a link in the description below where you guys can actually buy plush that I've won from arcade games and a bunch of other places from claw machines and everything else. They also come with an autograph card, so go down, check out the link description below. What is popping, y'all? Hope y'all doing great, doing fantastic, all that good stuff. So in this video, we're going over to the post office to see if we got some more lottery tickets. We got some yesterday, um, and you guys, you guys seen from Richard, but I think we got some more from somebody else. So let's make our way over to the post office and see if we got the tickets. Made it here to the post office, and uh, we're gonna run inside and see if we have any tickets in the freaking PO box. So let's hopefully hope that there's freaking tickets in the PO box and not a piece of paper. So yeah, this is like a small little post office. If no one's ever seen it, this is probably the smallest post office I've ever seen. But here we go. Oh yeah, let's go. It makes me super happy that they came and I didn't have to wait until like Monday or Tuesday or whenever the post office opens back up because I feel like their hours here are like the weirdest hours ever. Um, Saturdays, they open at like, I don't know, seven, eight o'clock in the morning. They close at like 11 or something, 11, 15 or something weird. 12, 15, I don't know, it's so weird. And then even throughout the week, they don't open until like 1.30 or 12, I don't know, it's crazy. So anyways, we got the freaking tickets. We're gonna make our way back to the house and uh, open these up. Made it back home. We're gonna open this up and see what the heck we got inside. So Regina always hooks it up when she sends tickets. So it's pretty awesome. And she always decorates the stuff. So I've already got a glimpse of it. She already decorated the envelope. So look at this, this is just the back of it. That's really cool. Look at this. She always decorates them, always. And on the front, there's uh, there's more of them, but I just don't want to show her like add this or nothing. But yeah, there's like more right there. So that's pretty cool. Heck to the yes. Let's open this up. Okay, we got it open. Oh man, there's some big old tickets in here. It looks like a note and stuff too. Look at this. Let's see what else we got? Anything else in there? Nope. All right. Move that out of the side. Let's read the note first. I always like to read the notes that people send first. So here we go. The note says, Blake. Here are some Hoosier Lottery ticket or Xmas tickets, fifty dollars worth. Enjoy, happy scratching, and good luck, Regina. Regina, thank you. So she sent us fifty freaking dollars worth of lottery tickets. So starting off first here, we got some one dollar tickets. Tis the season, right here. Tis the season tickets, pretty cool. Um, I like that ticket. That's pretty awesome. Heck yes. So then she sent us that one. We got some two dollar tickets. How many two dollar? We got a few two dollar tickets here. Deck the Halls, right there. The new uh, Christmas ticket right there, Deck the Halls. Never played that one, never played this one. Never played anything. Never, I don't think I've ever played any of their lottery like that. Uh, I played their lottery, but never um, Christmas versions. Oh, and I just noticed something. This is pretty cool. Look at this up at the very top. This is the uh, the Merry Multiplier one. This is a fun looking game. You got the bonus spots and this stuff down here, but look at the top here. It says to and from. So really, you could like, write to and from and then give them out as gifts. That's really awesome. I like that, I like that. But this is a big $5 ticket. And then, oh my goodness. Is there two of these? Yeah, she sent us two, not one, but two of these giant freaking $10 tickets. That's pretty awesome. And Regina hooked it up. She's freaking signed, well you signed two of them. <laughs> I was like, did she sign them all? No, she signed, maybe she only signed one. She only signed the one? No, she signed the two $10 ones. I always tell people, hey, if you're gonna send us tickets, um, if I don't know you very well, or Regina, she's hooked us up multiple times. And if I don't know you though or whatever, and it's just safety reasons when you're shipping them in the mail, honestly, on top of that, or if you're just kind of uncomfortable sending people tickets because you think they might cash them or steal them or something like that, always sign the freaking back of them because not only did Regina do it, big shout out to Regina on this two, she kind of slacked on these ones, but uh, Richard hooked it up. He signed on all of these ones. So every ticket he did, but we're gonna be doing these ones today. I didn't get to play any uh, Halloween tickets. I know it's past Halloween and stuff now, but Richard hooked us up, he gave us some Halloween tickets. So we're gonna play these Halloween tickets. We got some $2 ones, we got some $1 ones. So we're gonna play those. So let's get this camera flipped around and get right into these, these tickets. Let's go. Here we go, you can win up to a hundred bucks. We're looking for identical symbols, I guess. Okay, so play four. Oh, okay. Oh, so, okay, there's more, there's two symbols in each one. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. There's two symbols in each spot. I was like confused that for a second. So we didn't match it there. We're looking for it. So a spider and a star. We got a star and a crossbones. We got a moon and a moon. We won. First ticket out the gate. Heck yes. This is uh, the West Virginia lottery too. Um, Richard hooked us up with these tickets. So Richard, we got a freaking match right there, buddy. We got the two moons. So let's see what we're going to get you. I don't know if they do free tickets. Nope, it's money. So 
Um, we got you a $1 back, man. Break even. You're not out of anything yet. Let's go. Put it off in the wind pile. And uh, here we go. Next ticket. We got a... Looks like a wand and a, some bones. Another wand and a brain. Is that a brain? Yeah, brain. So we got some candy and a star. And the spider and a moon. Nothing there. All right. Well, these are still cool, though, man. Put that off in the losing pile. And... Either way, if you guys do send tickets, I send them all back to you so you can double check them, scan them, uh, log them into your lottery office, whatever you guys got to do. Because uh, like Ohio, they give you points for every losing ticket. So yeah. All right. Nothing on that one. We got two more of these dollar tickets and we're going to move on to the $2 uh, Halloween tickets. So like I said, um, they still had them. So he said, hey, you want some Halloween tickets and stuff? I said, yeah, definitely. So he, he hooked it up. So if you guys ever want to send tickets from your state and stuff like that, let me know. All right, you don't even have to let me know. Just uh, top link description down below. It's P.O. Box. You guys can send them in that. Star and uh, Cauldridge, I guess it's called. But uh, and it helps me out so freaking much because I spend so much on tickets. So uh, with him and Regina and stuff like that, we have enough to be able to play a few videos and it saves me uh, a little bit of it gives me content, it saves me some money, and you guys get to see your tickets get played. So I think that kind of is like the adrenaline rush of that. It's kind of cool when other people play your tickets because you're like, because you're like so like, oh my god, I can't wait to see if I get a win, and then you get a win. You know, it's it's kind of cool. So, all right, nothing on that one. So we only got the one win right here, the double moon right there. But we still got these two dollar tickets right here. We have three of these two dollar tickets. This is kind of funny. We got like a. Um, what is that like a Frankenstein or something most likely we got a, a mummy and then like a little monster looking thing But uh, yeah, we're gonna start with this one. We have 51 uh, 52 and 53 and The odds and what we have to do is the tickets actually called spooky um, So I would show you guys this here. Let me try to show you right there It's called spooky and it looks like we need to reveal a 2x symbol when double the prize um, uh, or reveal a moon symbol and win that prize. So the overall odds are four and uh, four point. Well, I cannot speak today. One and four point three one. All right. So we got three chances to get this win. Let's hopefully hope that we can find a moon or two X symbols. What we're looking for, I guess. Okay, we got a hat, a pumpkin, a little cauldridge, some bones. Let's see what else we got. Brain. They got the same, oh, there's a cat, a, a broom, and a bat. All right, so we did not get you a win on that one. I am sorry, Richard, but we're gonna try. We're gonna keep trying. We got this one and one more. Come on, man, I wanna see a win on this ticket. That would be so cool. You can win up to 200 bucks on this ticket too, so. All right, come on, 2X, or, oh, there's a ghost. I've never seen that symbol yet. 2X or a moon. Do we, wait, wait, moon, moon, do we have any moons? No. No. All right. I was like, I forgot almost what that second symbol was. Okay, here we go. Pumpkin. Another cat. Uh, brain. A ghost. We got the moon symbol. We got a freaking win. Look at that. So far, every ticket you sent us, we've at least got one win on each one of, at least one of the tickets has been a win. So it could be, it could be 200 bucks, man. That could be freaking, that'd be crazy. All right. So it could be $2 or it could be 200. We don't know. I don't think it shows the prize values on the back of these ones, so we're just gonna scratch it and see what the heck we got. Here we go. Hey, hey, that's pretty awesome right there, man. Four dollars. So you got a double up on that ticket. So four dollars there and a one dollar right there for a five dollar overall. Like I was saying, Richard hooked us up with a lot of tickets. So uh, in tomorrow's video, we're gonna be doing these ones right here, these uh, one dollar Christmas tickets. And I don't know why if he sent us like this or how it happened, but he sent us number twenty-eight. 27 20 so it's like those ones are in order and then it's like 30 where's 31 at? there's no 31 and then so you got 32 33 34 35 36 there's no 37 or 38 and then there's 39 so i don't know if like he played those ones or he just grabbed some out and sent them to us i don't know how that happened but hey that's what he sent us we also have these ones uh they're pretty much like the the ones you just seen these ones are called jolly though <clears throat> <clears throat> my voice is going out these ones are called jolly though and uh yeah so we're gonna be playing those ones and then we also have some five dollar tickets to end it off so 
pretty excited about that. But tomorrow's video, we're doing these ones. And then we're getting into Regina's tickets after we do all of his. Big thank you again to Regina for hooking up all those tickets. I always truly appreciate anyone that sends those tickets. And big thank you again to Richard for hooking up these tickets for this video as well. Um, I'm super excited to be playing the rest of the Christmas tickets. And uh, I was happy I got to play some Halloween tickets. I did not get to play any Halloween tickets this year. So definitely really big thank you to you. If anyone wants to send us any tickets from anywhere, uh, like I said before, top link description down below is my PO box. You guys can send me fan mail, lottery tickets, all kinds of stuff like that. And like I tell people, sign the backs of them. It, it definitely helps out just in case if they do get lost in the mail. Because Regina's package, for example, uh, she sent me a message. She's like, hey, it says it's in Mount Gilead. And I'm like, well, that's like 15, 20 minutes from where my PO box is. And she's like, oh, and then the next day it got sent back to Columbus. And then we've had it happen before where a package went like all over America. So we don't know what the heck's going on uh, with the mail and stuff lately, but it's definitely been pretty wild. And uh, yeah, so definitely if you guys want to send me stuff, uh, you guys can top link description down below. If you guys want to become a channel member, I truly appreciate y'all. You guys get exclusive membership content and all that stuff like that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So keep on keeping on. Don't let me bring you down. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace. Welcome to the barbecue shop. You want these chips with your pop? You never want another lollipop. Whoa, whoa!